Hi everybody. Um, I've been lazy today, so I'm just in my PJ still, hanging out when I got packages, and I think I know what this is. <laughs> um, so there is this beautiful channel. This lovely woman, Pat, is on. It's called Pat Doodles, and you guys have to check it out. Talk about a fun channel. Um, Pat Doodles goes to, um, I don't know, estate sales, uh, maybe yard sales, maybe thrift store, I'm not sure, but gets a lot of things secondhand, right? A lot of things. And then they go on their channel and auction these things off. So it's been great. And I got a lot of things, a lot of things. And that is what this is. Um, they're very professional about it, you know, like they're so fun to watch, you know, when different people get in their things, but then they'll send out like a um, invoice to your email so that you can pay it. And then when it comes, it has an invoice in it. Um, so yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> but I got this Barbie. I think because she moves her arms, and I really like that, um, I needed some more movable bodies. I also needed some darker skinned bodies because of the, I don't know, the dolls that I have, sometimes the darker skinned bodies, they don't fit the made to move uh, skin tones. So this one, it moves a little bit. Like she moves her arms, uh, not her hands or feet, but she can snap too. She has that snap and bend, so she bends her legs a little bit, you know. Not much, they don't have a lot of movement with the bend and snap, but a little bit. And of course, they don't have any waist movement or anything. But that's more movement than a regular fashionista body. So, and we're talking, I think $2 for the dolls that I got or something, it was like $2 a piece. So, yeah, oh my. So then we have this one, <laughs> which again, it, <laughs> Y'all know I'm not into the pink puppy stuff, but the body is very poseable, very movable on this one. Um, from the knees to the waist, the arms, the hands are not movable, the feet are. Um, so yeah, I got her basically for her movable body to again switch heads onto a different body. Um, it's just, it's not my cup of tea on that. I was raised in the 80s. I was a child of the 80s. So all of our Barbies look like this. So I've passed this stage of Barbiehood, um, <laughs> the pink puffy Barbie. I've, I've kind of passed that stage a long time ago. <sighs> I've been trying to get my Monster High collection together. So yeah, Monster High. Um, obviously these are used so I will need to do something with the hair that kind of thing which is just fun for me and clean her up but uh, yeah it's a monster high and again these were like two dollars you know a piece for this it was just so fun being part of the whole thing too just really fun so let's see what else I got I also got oh man this Ken doll is on a pose, bendable body and he doesn't have painted hair, he has real hair. So I got him for a couple of reasons, but yeah. Um, also, he's got a nice little shirt on. At $2, you gotta look at the clothes they've got on too, right? Because you're getting that as well. But, um, but yeah, I kinda like that he's definitely got a bendable, poseable body, so that's good for me. I loved it. This one, I think I just liked her skin tone and her hair color. I think that was the thing with this one. I just liked her skin tone, her hair color. I just thought that was pretty, you know. I'm not into the painted, like molded on outfit, but you know, you could always put something over that. So that's not a big deal. I just liked her face. I really like her face. I could also just take her face off and put it on a different body because I really like her face. All right, <laughs> sorry, I get into that. So, Next, what do I got? Uh, oh, wow, yeah, I forgot about this one. 
Yes, yes, another monster eye. Woo isn't she cute? And her hair isn't that bad. I'll wash it and everything, but it's really not that bad. Um, it just needs a little bit of work. Look at those eyes, so pretty. So yeah, I'm starting to get together a little bit of Monster High um, collection. I'm pretty happy about that. That would be my third Monster High. <laughs> so a little bitty collection anyway. And then I got some clothes. Definitely got me some clothes. So, so little pink shoes, like tennis shoes, and uh, some pants and a shirt. So a little bitty outfit there. And that is what I've got. So yeah, I got quite a few things. I'm very happy with it. And um, I just encourage you to go to that channel, watch the channel, see what all is there for you. Um, yeah, it's just, it's fun. Good stuff. Good so stuff. with some of these, there is some, um, cleaning up, repainting, um, rerouting that I'm going to need to do. Not sure what happened to the hair. It looks completely fried. Like, you know, maybe they put some heat to it or something. I don't know. So that has to go. Um, and then I'll, I'll just redo it. There's, um, I think everything else can pretty much be repainted. Um, I have gone through them with Lysol, you know, to clean anything off, but I think everything else can just kind of be repainted or whatever. And of course I need to make some clothes for cause she's about naked. Um, so yeah, she's, uh, um, she's the 2015. So she's been through a lot. Um, this one, however, is not that bad. I think I'm just going to really condition that hair with some, um, fabric softener. So other than that, I think she's in really great condition. So yeah, we'll take a look at that. Let's, let's see on this side there. Anything? Anything? No. But yeah, these are, these are both Mattel and I think they're both 2015, but I'm not positive about this one. So yeah. Got some cleanup to do. Bad lighting in my bathtub, but these little babies have been soaking in a warm sudsy soup of water <laughs> to kind of clean them out and all of that. So I'm gonna rinse them and start conditioning them. And as you can see, I've got all of her hair taken out. I've taken her head off. Um, and her head was a little bit difficult. I couldn't get it off you know, without hurting her. So I uh, will heat her up again and do it. All right. So now what I need to do is condition all of these beauties. I always keep my combs from all the different dolls. Uh, this one's from one of the Rainbow High dolls. Um, I don't know why, but I always keep the combs and the brushes and it comes in super handy in times like this because I've always got one like right next to me. I play with their hair a lot and I reroute and I do all that kind of stuff. So it's nice to have different kinds of things. Like I've got baby brushes for some of my dolls. I've got toothbrushes for some of their hair. Um, and then I have a harder tooth, you know, brush, one of the Monster High brushes. Um, and then I have these combs um, from the Rainbow High. So, you know, it's, it's a variety. <laughs> But I wanted to kind of comb through a little bit and then put the conditioner on and let them kind of soak in the conditioner for a while. I'm not sure what all that does. I've just learned it from other channels. And as I've always said from the beginning of this channel, I'm just here to show you guys what I'm learning. So don't take anything from me as a tutorial. I'm just showing what I've learned so far from other channels, I guess. I watch them so you don't have to. No, <laughs> no, you still should. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, these were really inexpensive, beautiful little dolls that I got uh, from Pat Doodle's um, auction. And so they were inexpensive, which is fantastic. This is one of the original um, Monster High dolls. And she is from 2017, I think. And so is the other one that I got. This one's like part horse, part 
human. <laughs> I'll have to look up the names of these. I just love the Monster High look of the dolls. I haven't watched the shows on any of them. Rainbow High, Barbie, Monster High. I don't watch the cartoony shows or anything. I just love dolls. So, um, yeah, that's my whole thing is just trying to... Uh, rename them and play with them and fix their hair and and this one was a mystery I can't figure out why I can't get the head off of her body it must be on there pretty darn good it's got to have a little something extra in here holding this this head on because it is not coming off at all so I'm gonna have to do some more work on her to get this whoo to get this head off this body I don't know what's going on because I got the head off the other body so that she could use that body. But this one, she won't come off. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not. But we're going to try. Okay, so here's the first one I want to show you. I did repaint the shoes. So they have, you know, black soles and uh, some green. And then I left the blue that was already on there. And I did paint some more on the details. To make them stand out you can't see with this big light showing but i put a little skirt on her too um but i did have to redo her hair completely because her hair was nothing but fuzz um i didn't have any white hair so i just used black hair and the only black hair i had was wavy mohair so she has black curly mohair um because that's all i have so and it, i think it looks cute i think she looks pretty cute i do I like her. Let me know in the comments what you Monster think. High. Her hair's not completely dry yet, um, but it is completely smooth. Like I did the conditioner and it, uh, it worked wonders. You know, her hair's just back to where it would normally be. I made a little shirt for her, you know, so she's not, you know, hanging out all Next over the place. one I gotta show you is, this is the one where I took the head off of one of the dolls and put it on this body because it is very movable. So she has a really good movable body and the bend and snap legs, but um, the hand, the arms are very, very movable. So that was the main point is I wanted to get those arms. And then we have the gorgeous Ken doll and his hair is looking much better, just having it washed and conditioned. I haven't cut it or styled it or anything. Um, look at those striking blue eyes. And again, that pink lips. I don't know what they do that for, but anyway. So this is him. I think he's looking great. And this is them all cleaned up. I think we did a great job and I'm super happy with them. Thank you guys for watching and please check out Pat Doodles. Also like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. See